Mention gold and investments and try to find a correlation. Most of the time, people will just tell you that gold acts as a hedging tool to your investments. It is true, but only to a certain extent. What if there is another perspective to this? What if there is another reason or another side of the coin that not much people has that to mention? Before we proceed, we would like to extend our thanks to the current subscribers and likes that we have been receiving. As you all know, Kaya Plus is still in the works of working out our monetizing content. So a subscribe, like and share on our videos would definitely help us out in the near term. So let's move on to the topic of the day. Gold, the shiny and precious matter that has drove men to perilous journeys and expedition. Until this very day, it is still the precious metal that adorns the hands, neck and ears of women. As of recently, it also has been touted as a safe haven instrument that could act as a portfolio hedging mechanism in your investments. But is it that really an effective hedging tool in your portfolio? Gold has always seen an elevated status ever since ancient times. Favoured due to its shiny and luster appearances, it has inspired adventures and expeditions, be it going through the thick South American forest in search of El Dorado or braving the torrential seas in search of sunken treasure. Gold certainly has captivated law and adventure stories. Now, even though the historical prices of gold stretches back just to the 1980s, we all know that gold played an important part ever since our ancient mankind civilization. Be it in the mode of payment or as artifacts, gold has played an important part in the ancient times. Now, fast forward to today, gold is considered or touted as a safe haven instrument to hedge your investments. It is also a precious metal that is commoditized and tradable with future prices as well. Now, historically, if you look back at the prices back then until today, gold prices has definitely risen and it will continue to rise just because the simple fact it is a finite resource with a limited supply and future ongoing demand would definitely drive the price up. So if there is a surety that gold prices will eventually go up, why don't we just put all our money into gold? Good and fair question, right? Ever since ancient times till now, we have evolved in a certain way. We no longer carry gold around as a mode of payment and in fact, we have relied on fiat currencies for a mode of payment. And just by the simple fact that using gold as a mode of payment isn't a long-term solution. If you were to look back at the prices of gold since 1980s until the year 2007, you might have noticed that gold prices stayed relatively flat. Now, looking up your wealth back then into 100% in gold just meant that there is no capital gains, no dividends returns in your investments, though you can consider yourself pretty much recession-proof. Gold eventually went on a galloping rally rising to as high as 1,800 US dollars before correcting down. And many have said that the rally was due to the increased consumption of smartphones, which does use a fair bit of gold, and I concur to that. So how does gold hedges your portfolio? If you were to compare the VIX chart of the Dow Jones Index and gold futures, you would have noticed that the VIX chart of the gold is actually less volatile and less fluctuative. That means that gold actually helped to smoothen out the fluctuations or the volatility if you were to add it as a part of your portfolio in your investments. It doesn't really serve to hedge your portfolio rather than to smoothen out the fluctuations or the volatility of the share markets. Contrary though, gold price has 
underperform against the Dow Jones Index. And given a long enough time frame, it has also underperformed versus the Hang Seng Index, the KLCI Index, and also the SDI Index. So if indices following their theory would outperform and continue to grow if given long enough time, why do we still invest in precious metals and touting them as an investment hedge to your portfolio? Investing is definitely a long-term game plan to accumulate and compound wealth. And along this journey of compounding your wealth, there will be times where you experience market downturns, economic crises, and other unfavorable fluctuations in the share market. Now, if you are a bit too worried or too emotionally attached to the market movements and the upswings and downswings, gold does play its part as a placebo effect to smoothen out your portfolio fluctuations should you choose to have gold inside your portfolio. So in another way, if I were to say or put it into a whole perspective, gold doesn't really hedges your portfolio, but your emotions if you think that the equity market movements are too wild for your personal liking. So rather than echoing the mass market, telling everyone that you should definitely have gold inside your portfolio as a hedging instrument, I would like to throw the question back to you and you ask yourself, whether what is your kind of risk appetite, what is your mental strength, or what is your investment horizons, or what kind of markets that you want to invest in. Because all of these questions, when answered, would determine how much or do you really need even go inside your portfolio as a hedging tool if your personal tenacity can outlive and outwin the market fluctuations in the long term. So think about it, ponder about it, and get your own answers on the truth behind whether gold really is a necessity touted as the hedging instruments in your portfolio or not. That's it for today. This topic is exciting and interesting enough to drive you thinking further on whether gold acts as a hedging tool to your investments or to your emotions. Of course, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it to your friends and family so that they get enlightened as well. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.